Uh, good day ladies and gentlemen uh, today uh, I'm going to introduce to you uh, the work so the topic is on uh, work energy and power uh, it is presented by me of course um, Vakari KF uh, so let's start uh, so what is work work so we'll do work and we'll do energy and also do power but for now i want us to start with what with work we have to start with work uh, what is a uh, work uh, the work done on an object by a constant force is the product of the magnitude of the force the magnitude of the displacement and the angle between the force and the displacement so the formula this can be represented in a formula so the formula is this one where work is equal to what is the product of the force displacement and the angle between the displacement and the force where f is the magnitude of the force uh, in newtons and the change in x which is the magnitude of the displacement uh, it is in meters and then we have the angle between the force and the displacement it is in degrees work is in joules so the unit for work is joules so uh, i want to uh, further uh, explain um, the cases for the angle between the displacement theta theta the angle between the displacement and the force uh, so uh, i've prepared four cases uh, the first case is when what to call uh, the force the force is in the same direction as the displacement maybe this object is moving in that uh, direction so and also the force is in that direction so when they are in the same direction the black color represents what the, dis the direction of the displacement the red one will be representing the direction of them of the force as you can see the angle between the force and the displacement is, is zero there's no angle so the theta there is going to be equal to zero when the force is in the same direction as the displacement then the angle is going to be zero and then for case two uh, when uh, what to call the applied force is not in the same uh, what to call direction as the displacement so in this case this will this is the direction of the force and this block is moving in that direction it's taking that direction but it is pulled at an angle this angle is theta so what we're going to have uh, this is represented here so this will be the direction of the displacement uh, this is the direction of the force so this angle here theta is going to be theta is going to be greater than zero but it is less than 90 degrees okay so that can be uh, let us say five degrees 10 degrees 40 50 60 70 80 as long as it is greater than zero but it's less than 90. so this is the angle that we're going to put on the on this formula cos of what cos of theta okay Oh, for case three uh, what do i have i have got the force that is directed upward but the movement of the object is this one so this uh, an example will be that one uh, of a lady or a gentleman that is carrying a briefcase so when you carry a briefcase uh, uh, with your hand obviously uh, the force applied is going to be upward but your movement will either be towards the right or or, 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 or towards the left maybe you are moving backward or, or forward but how you carry the briefcase the force that you apply is upward the movement is horizontal so at this block this will be the displacement uh, of the object but the force is directed upward so if this is the case the angle between the force and the displacement is going to be 90 degrees okay are we together good people hope we are together on that one uh, then we have case four case four 
uh, what you call the object will be moving in that direction will be taking this direction but there is a force that is being applied in the opposite direction which is going in that direction so since the displacement of the block uh, is towards the right and maybe the force is in the opposite direction which is left so the angle between the displacement and the force this one is going to be 180 degrees i uh, hope we are uh, together on that one i have uh, what to call uh, the examples prepared uh, let's do the examples now example i've got example one a uh, on example one what do i have uh, a book is pushed 3,5 meters along a horizontal table by a horizontal force of 12 newtons the opposing force of friction is 4 newtons okay calculate the work done by the applied force so in this case what do i have i have what to call the displacement which is in that direction and i also have the applied force which is the horizontal force which is in that direction so in this case my angle here angle theta is going to be zero degrees so i'm asked to calculate what i'm asked to calculate work so work done by the applied force is going to be equal to the applied force multiplied by uh, what you call displacement cos of theta this is going to be uh, that is 12 multiplied by the displacement 3,5 cos of what cos of 0 degrees okay so this is going uh, what are we going to get uh, this is going to be 12 multiplied by 3,5 cos of 0 uh, 42 the answer is 42 so this is going to be uh, 40 42 42 uh, 42 joules okay sorry for that this is going to be 42 42 joules so this is the work done by the applied applied force okay so let's come to number two they were asked to calculate the work done by the frictional force the frictional force there the frictional force we've got the frictional force so the displacement of the object is towards the right okay but the frictional force it opposes the motion of an object the frictional force opposes the motion of an of an object so the angle there is going to be what 118 degrees so the work done by the frictional force is going to be equal to the work done by the frictional force is going to be equal to the frictional force changing x cos of what cos of theta this is going to be equal to uh, the magnitude of the frictional force is 4 newtons 4 into 3,5 cos of 180 degrees so this is going to be equal to uh, 4 times 3,5 uh, cos of 180 this is going to be equal to negative 14 so this is going to be negative uh, 14 joules negative 14 joules okay number three we are asked to calculate the network done on the object so the network done is the total the sum of all the works okay the total work done so this is going to be work net is going to be equal to the work done by the applied force plus the work done by the frictional force so this is going to be uh, fa change in x cos of theta 
and plus the frictional force changing x cos of theta so this is going to be equal to or oh, 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 what you can do also you can just uh, add the two you can say 42 minus uh, 14 you'll also get the work net so the force applied there is one is 12 3 comma 5 cos of 0 degrees plus 4 into 3 comma 5 cos of 180 degrees so the network done the network done that is done on an object going to be equal to uh, 12 multiply 3 comma 5 cos of 0 plus 4 times 3 comma 5 times cos of um, 180 so this is going to give us 28 so this is going to be 28 joules so this is going to be the network that is done on the object that is done on the object good and uh, let me underline these ones the equations good the question here good so example two hope you understand uh, you understood example one uh, example two what do we have a a director a, a director uh, pulls a load of fire hood on a sled from point a to point b which are 20 meter apart along a horizontal surface the director exerts a force of 5,000 Newton at an angle of 36 degrees above the horizontal there is a kinetic frictional force of 3,500 Newtons opposing the motion so what you call the uh, from uh, point A to point B that is going to be uh, what to call 20 20 meter apart let's see here we've got A there we have B so the displacement is going to be 20 meter apart so here uh, we are asked to calculate the work done by the applied force and the work done by the frictional force on the sled so let us see this is A so we're going to have work done by the applied force is equal to the applied force change in x cos of theta this is going to be equal to what is the applied force the applied force is uh, 5000 uh, the displacement is 20 so what is the angle of the applied force because here we have 5 thousand newtons which is the applied force so the angle the angle is 36 degrees the angle between the displacement and the applied force is 36 so this is going to be cos uh, 36 degrees uh, this is going to be 5000 multiplied by 20 cos 36 so the answer is 80,901 so it's going to be 18,901,7 joules so this is going to be the work done by the applied force so B the work done by the frictional force the work done by the frictional force is going to be frictional force displacement uh, cos of theta is going to be uh, 3500 times 20 cos of now the frictional force opposes what it opposes the motion of an object so 
the the sled is moving in that direction this is the movement of the sled okay but the frictional force the frictional force it opposes the motion the frictional force is going to be here so the angle between the displacement the displacement and the frictional force is going to be 180 degrees so this cos 180 degrees so this is going to be equal to 3500 times 20 multiplied by cos 180 degrees so this will give us negative 70,000 joules so this is the work done by the frictional force on the on the sled okay the last question calculate the net work done on the sled so which is the sum of all the uh, what call works okay the total work done on the on the sled so uh, we can do it this way or we can just add add the two so let us do it uh, let us do it the other way around since here uh, we used another method now here i will use another uh, method you can just see what to call the work net uh, is equals to the work applied plus the work done by the frictional force so here we've got what we've got uh, 80,901,7 plus what did we get for the frictional force negative 70 70,000 uh, you can just see uh, 89 or 1,7 minus 70 so we've got 10,001 10,901 so we've got 10,901,7 joules that is going to be our final answer the network done on the on the slate hope you understand good people that will be the end of this lesson. Thank you.